Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed. And today we are here exploring the 16th Avenue Tile Steps here in San Francisco, California. So the 16th Avenue Tile Steps get their name because they're located right in the intersection of Moraga Street and 16th Avenue. They're also called the Moraga Steps for that matter. The 16th Avenue Tile Steps are a 163 steps stairway here in the Golden Gate Heights District in San Francisco, California. The original steps were built in 1926 but remodeling started in 2003 to make them look like this. I was reading somewhere and I saw that that uh, they got inspiration from the uh, colorful steps in Rio. I think they're called the Escaderia Celaron or something like that. I'll put up a picture. But yeah, this is basically uh, where they drew inspiration from. My goal for today is to go up the stairs, tell you a little bit about the history of this place, and then show you the stairs as we go through them. So if you're interested, come with me. stairs I would like to share a few facts with you guys uh, the first fact being that this location right here used to be a not so popular area in San Francisco secret of the community you could say however the secret is out and as you can see today it is a very popular place for people who want to take those Instagrammable pictures slash video including myself and if you want to get a good picture you have to get here at the right time today I didn't have that much luck. There's a lot of people here today, which is normal. But um, if you do want to take a good picture, make sure to time it correctly. At the beginning of the steps, there's uh, a lot of people that gather there in order to take pictures of the whole uh, stairs. And uh, whenever someone uh, starts taking pictures, it's like a new photo shoot has begun. And it usually takes between like two minutes or something per person. Some people do get desperate and they just like pass everyone and decide to take pictures in the further top. So right there, that is what I'm talking about. Look at that line. And it's everyone who wants to take pictures of the stairs like looking up so the story of this place is very interesting at least uh, in my opinion so how this whole thing started is that uh, two people in this community so Golden Gate Heights district here in San Francisco they got together and they decided to to beautify their community and uh, they wanted to make this uh, like an entire community project so uh, what they did is uh, in order for people to participate they uh, conducted different like work Workshops where people could learn how to make the tiles and uh, then they proceeded to to pay artists to create like the picture and then pay professionals uh, to place the, the tile where they belong so uh, it was a very interesting thing uh, that I read um, a definitely really cool thing to do for the community for everyone to participate get to know each other as well as beautify their city if you can see there's like different tiles with names of people so the way they paid or they funded these this project is that they got people uh, to pay for the different tiles here at the uh, 16th Avenue tile steps and that's how they funded most of the, the project and look at this one imagine having your name in a uh, place where a lot of people come from all over the world and see your name that's pretty cool I found it really interesting that uh, coming down they look like normal steps as you can see but as soon as you turn around that's when you can see boom work of art right there so in total over 200 people helped fund this project and over 300 helped put the tiles in place that is a big project if i do say so myself and that is my friends how you get your community together in order to turn normal mundane steps into a work of art teamwork 
is the name of the game. One thing that I've been noticing is that a lot of people gather like at the very bottom of the stairs as well as the very top. As you can see, that's the top right there. And uh, if you can stay like in a mid-section area, that's where I'm at right now. Um, that's the only way that I'm able to record or take good pictures just because there's uh, not a lot of people getting in my way every three seconds. One of the things that I haven't mentioned, uh, even though it's clearly right in front of me, is the amazing view that you get uh, from climbing these stairs and that is the Sunset District here in San Francisco it looks really nice and uh, right now I'm just in the middle so I could imagine how it would look when we get to the top we will see another thing is that on the sides of the stairs you would find like little um, I could say like garden areas so areas with a lot of trees or plants from the area look at these there's are some plants that they planted here. This is also the work of the community. So volunteers help take care of this place and plant these plants. There's actually a picture of someone who wanted to steal some plants, uh, which I find really dumb because um, nowadays there's cameras everywhere and uh, of course they spotted her and they have a picture of her right at the bottom, <laughs> the plant stealer. Slowly but surely get into the top. This is definitely uh, a place that you can do really fast, it's uh, just a staircase like I mentioned but it's really nice and it's worth the trip uh, in my opinion. This is my third time that I come here and every time it does not fail to amaze me. I'm gonna zoom in to try and spot the bridge for you guys, I'm sure you can see it by now, but there it is, that's the Golden Gate Bridge right there you get to see it all the way from the 16th avenue tile steps so just a little bit more uh, history on this place uh, the 16th avenue tile steps opened up for the public in uh, august 27th of 2005. that day the mayor was not available but a city supervisor joined the mayor of a uh, city in italy where there's another staircase and apparently their sister staircases i don't know how that works but it kind of reminds me of how you know there's a city and they have a sister city anyways they uh, came together and they inaugurated this uh these steps this landmark here in san francisco and um they also proclaimed uh, August 27th as the 16th Avenue uh, Tile Steps Day, which I had no idea until I came here today. Now that I started looking at the different like tiles with the names and such, I realized that I haven't talked a lot about the design of the tiles, <laughs> which is like a big thing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and head down and uh, show you kind of like how it looks and also uh, the theme behind it. So I'll meet you guys whenever I get down there. So we're back down here and uh, what I wanted to show you is a little bit of the design of this place but more I'll tell you a little bit about the, um, the theme about this place. So you can see the bottom section is kind of like the sea and you start seeing like different organisms such as fish, uh, they have jellyfish and uh, different, just different uh, sea creatures uh, right here at the bottom. So this is still a little bit about the ocean but there you can see uh, some plants so it started to be like the earth and the ocean like combined. So here you can see butterflies, you can see plants and whatnot. I see a bird, I see a squirrel over there and more plants and uh, even snails and over here it's more like the desert or at least that's how i see it um, i'm not too sure and as we go up you'll see planes you'll see birds and whatnot so this is the air right here we're starting to get to space so you can see stars there's a bat right there too so i guess that's like the night or something uh, more bats right here it's dark and over here is kind of like space so you can see more stars and whatnot and right here is of course the moon and at the very end you can see that's the sun the mighty mighty sun and i haven't turned back in a while so i'll do that right now and show you this amazing view boom the tile steps of course they're famous for the beautiful design the garden and whatnot but this amazing view is also another thing that makes it very unique and uh, makes it uh, one of the top places to come visit here in San Francisco, in my opinion. So 
we made it to the very top of the 16th Avenue tile steps. As you can see, there's an amazing view from up here, like I mentioned at the beginning. This is definitely one of the reasons why it's so worth coming here and checking it out. I wanted to show you something else, but I'm just going to wait it out just a tiny bit to see um, if there's going to be rain or not. But uh, if there's not, there's something else that I wanted to show you that is up there. So you have to keep walking a little bit and over there there's another set of stairs. Uh, they're not as pretty as, as this one's right here, but they lead you to something uh, really nice. So let's go check it out and let's hope the weather doesn't attack me right now. So this right here is 15th Street. We came up from uh, 16th through the tile steps and we are here. We're making our way to the top and what I want to show you is at the top of this hill which is called Turtle Hill. I have no idea why. Maybe it's because it looks like a turtle shell. I don't know, that's my guess. But anyways you guys, as soon as you get to the very top, as we did, you have two options. Either you go ahead and go back down. That's what most people do. I don't understand why though because there's the option to visit a park that sits at the top of Turtle Hill which is called Grand View Park and you get an amazing view of San Francisco I guess that's where the name comes from <laughs> Grand View <laughs> that makes sense we're gonna go ahead and take the second option of course that's what we're doing right now it is starting to rain and I don't want to get wet or have my cameras for that matter so uh, I'm just gonna do a really fast show you a view and then head down again so as you can see we're not at the very top yet. We still have another flight of stairs uh, left over. But I wanted to stop here and show you the view from this side because the, the place we're going shows the other side. So I just wanted to stop by and show you this place. I don't even know if you can hear me because the wind is crazy. But I just wanted to show you this amazing view. Look at this. It's really crazy because you can literally see a lot of the city from here. It just doesn't feel to amaze me. It's funny that this used to be like like a closed off secret place but now it's full of people you saw like there was a huge line for people to get over here and right now there's few people here i think because it's getting cold and people are scared that it's gonna rain but usually there's a lot of people here and it's not that much of a secret anymore i have like some footage of a sunset that i came to to witness uh right here it was so amazing i stayed like an hour here just to see it come down and it's it's unfortunate that you don't get to see it today because it is so cloudy it is so cold uh over there you can see ocean beach i don't even know if you can but um i promise to you it's over there but the clouds are on the way the green parts that you see here is uh, actually Golden Gate Park in San Francisco. It's a beautiful park. I've done a video on this before and uh, I'll put it on the description so you can check it out if you want. Anyways you guys, I really enjoyed bringing you guys along with me. I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Uh, I just want to remind you guys to be kind, have an open mind. I'll see you next time.